YouTube Electric Adventures here with another box from Japan. An Amazon JP box is, is just for use. And this one is not games, it's actually a new console for the collection. And it's one I've been after for a while, but I've had no aspirations that I would find one anytime soon. Um, and it is a console that does tend to go for a bit. Well, there are a few around, just that most of the vendors still have them for um, quite high buy it now prices. And without further ado, the console is a Sega Mark III. Um, and by you know, by concentration in pickups in recent times, you know that I'm quite into the Sega SG1000 games. So this lovely console has, um, and I use my um, SC3000 computer to play the games. Um, and if you need to play the card games, you've got to put a card capture in it. Well, this one has obviously the card capture built in. Um, it plays all of the SG1000 games, and it also plays the Japanese um, equivalent of the Master System games. So all in one lovely system. And I've, I've played, briefly played with one of these at uh, PAX Australia two years ago. It's got a little expansion port there. We have two joystick ports in the front. Obviously you saw the card catcher, the pause button. Uh, we actually have a protective flap for the cartridge port. It is slightly yellow, so we may have to have a look at that. Uh, there's a bit of dirt in the cartridge slot there, so we'll clean that up. Now around the back we have an RF out with the switch and an AV out just like the um, Master System Model 1 so we should be able to use the Mega Drive AV cord, our power in and our power switch, rocker switch there rather than a push button on the front which is interesting, nothing on the ends and it's a lovely little size console. Okay, now it did come with some, with some cords and things, including a power supply. I probably won't use this power supply. Just <coughs> double check that the voltages is the same, but it should just be able to use the um, Master System power supply. And um, output 9 volt 1.2 amps so exactly the same as others so that'll just go in as um, <coughs> in storage for this console now it actually comes with a joypad that matches the system very little slightly different than the ma the original Master System one Master System ones will of course work but it's a lot smaller you don't have a start button like in on the um, NES and it, it obviously had a little joystick toggle at one stage but that's not in too bad nick um, other than a quick test I probably won't use that on a regular basis I'll use another joystick um, so very pleased to get um, another console in the collection especially for my um, uh, Sega SG-1000 games because um, I do worry about using the computer all the time it's much safer using a console because uh, the computers you know are actually worth a fair bit of more money than than those and um, you know with having the inbuilt card catcher it makes it easier to play the card games and the card games you can see the collection behind me there on that tower um, the card games are out of the games I need to get to get the rest of the set are uh, the ones I'll be concentrating on because I only, I'm only i actually only missing a couple of cartridges it's mainly the card games alright well what we might do we need to test out this console so let's replay some of the a couple of the SG-1000 games I haven't played for a little while right, so here we go I've got it plugged in um, I'm just using the Mega Drive um, 1 AV cord that I use for my Master System Model 1 and um, I have um, a cartridge that I picked up at some stage in a lot 
cartridges. So that's a Japanese Master System cartridge and it's Afterburner. And um, I'm, I'm using the actual joypad that came with it, just to make sure it works. And Afterburner is actually, um, it's quite a good version on the Master System. Machine gun fire. Plus you can shoot missiles. Three card game here, which we'll try out in a second. I mean, this is a great Mars System game. get it to there. So, as you can see, system works fine. Alright, let's try a Mark III card game. Okay, so here we go with an SG-1000 game, and um, this is one I haven't actually played for a little while. It's Zaxxon in cartridge form. So I was going to try the card games next, uh, but I've tried both uh, Mark III and SG-1000 card and nothing works so I'm going to do a cleaning so I'll skip to it for a moment so this version of Zaxxon on the uh, 1000 is not a bad version of Zaxxon got music Different from the uh, uh, Coleco version of Zaxxon. Now the MSX got two versions of Zaxxon. Uh, one which looks like the Coleco one, and I would hazard a guess that the other one would be similar to this one. It's only a guess though. I've only got the one. getting this sort of a game running on the system. Oh god, I just made that. Let's see if we have the ship stage. Oh, I haven't played it for ages, sorry. <laughs> Gives you a nice tone when you're lined up. As you can see, it's actually quite a good version. Quite a good version of all the to shoot a certain number of ships to progress, you sort of just have to survive. And it's got quite nice music. So I'll just show you that it's starting at the next level. Oops, I hit the wall. I've got one more life left, we might as well keep playing till I die. It's just great having 
consoleized version of the SG-1000. And plus I can play the, you know, the couple of Mark III car cartridges I have. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Alright, I'll go clean those card games and we'll give the card slot another go. So, after a little cleaning with a uh, eraser and some alcohol, so we have this is what the um, card games come as Mark III, and this is called Astro Flash, which is the Japanese name for Transport, which is a very early game on the Mark III and Mars system. Um, I mean, it was an excellent little worm. I can remember playing it when we first got when we first got the um, system, and it's all right for a, for a bit of a, a bit of a play and a good good and a good um, intro into what the system could do. Uh, but it's actually a little bit limited as far as um, gameplay is concerned. Yeah, you basically, you get your different weapon power-ups. Uh, you have a certain amount of armor power. Um, and when you collect, when you shoot the truck, you get, you can select which weapon you want next. Some slightly different backgrounds come along. Oh, Not really Not best demonstration in this game. No, I died again. Alright, we'll do it a little bit longer and then we'll try our SG 1000 card game. So we do have a few different enemy varieties. But um, once you've seen most of them, you get some more. Right, here's the truck again. I'll try to crash into it this time. You can see the armor of power goes down every time I shoot. And there's different weapons. Form. So there we go, it's not too bad. Um, it gets a bit monotonous, but a uh, good way to test the system out. So alright, let's try our SG-1000 card game. Right, so after a couple of goes, <coughs> card must still be a little dirty, we have Elevate Action, which is a loose um, view card. It's got quite nice opening music. So we get our first um, item. Oh, didn't make it to the red car at the end. 
Well, I'm really, really excited about getting this console in my collection. Um, it would be much more handy for my SG-1000 gameplays, for a start. Uh, being able to treat it like a console, and I always worry about damaging the SC-3000 computers. So, I'll probably put them back, the one I have out here, back in its box. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thank <music> you.